Hi guys, I promised you guys that I would use the, where did it go, the Stardust palette by Vegas Nay slash Too Faced. This is the look that I came up for with you guys today. Um, I've been really going towards this look every single time I wanted to do like a fall look and I'll change up the look a lot. So I think this is going to be a pretty long tutorial so let's get on to the video. So I'm first using the Nivea Replenishing Post Shave Balm. I'm using this as a primer and if you guys saw my favorites video, if you didn't, it's on the screen. What are you doing? You're behind. And with this, I'm going to prime my face. I love this because it smells like boys. And that's a great thing. I'm going to go in with foundation. My friend Molly was wearing this foundation in DC when I went there for playlists. And I was like, oh my god, what foundation are you wearing? And she's like, oh, it's the CoverGirl Body Set Gorgeous. I was like, your skin looks like an angel's face. So I went out and I bought it and I've been using it ever since as meaning like three days I've used it now and I love it. I think it's the absolute best foundation you could get at the drugstore. I don't like I know exactly. Okay, they're coming off. One. I gotta go. I'll get the other one in a minute. Gotta blend this in. I know exactly why I never do talk through videos and it's because I talk too much and then the video becomes way too long. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit over my lids, even though I'm going to put concealer there to prime them. This will just help match. Okay, moving on to concealer. I've been using the Instant Age Rewind in Fair, no, in Light, and I've really been liking it. Um, I like this, again, because it's yellow base, so I feel like it really works well with the foundation that I just put on. I put that underneath my eyes. And then um, on the rest of my face, I'm like going on until you guys what I'm doing. I'm putting on the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Concealer, not foundation. And putting this kind of like where my cheekbones are and just to help blend it out a little bit. And I use this to highlight. All right, and then I'm just blending it out with the same beauty blender that I just used. And then I'm just going to powder it on the face. So under the eyes, actually I'm not going to use this because it casts so bad of a white cast and you never know when you're going to get your picture taken even on a random Labor Day in September. I can't wait to set. Okay, so this is Rimmel Stay Matte. It's almost gone. I, haven't, I have a backup, but I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes and this is the Real Techniques setting brush. Setting the under eyes is probably my most pleasing part of my makeup routine because it's like becomes it looks so cakey and then you put this on and it becomes so not cakey anymore so i'm gonna put that brush away and bring out another brush this is um just a random powder brush i don't even know where this is from i want to say crown brush and use that to powder down the rest of the face someone commented that my eyebrows look too light and i was like yeah you're kind of right so i just went out and got a new dip brow and I got it in a different shade, and I was using it this past weekend, and I really like it a lot more. So, good thing I realized that. Um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown. I have a eyebrow tutorial up, so I'm just going to um, link that down below. And I'm just going to fill my brows real quick because I don't really want to take up too much time on this. So, just, just give me a minute. I'm using the Stardust Palette. So I'm first taking this shade Millennial, that one. Just run this through the crease. Can be super sloppy. This really doesn't matter. Just run that through there. Leave this brush out. This was a 224. Leave it out. Um, now we're going to go in with a 217 or a brush like a 217. We're going in with this beautiful shade Girls Night. It is so pretty. It's this one right here. It's like a brick red. We're gonna take this color on 217. And we're using the 217 because it's a little bit more precise and defined than the 224. And we're just placing this primarily on the lower crease, but keep it to the outer corner. So we're not really bringing it all the way in, just primarily the outer corner and then down onto the lid a little bit and also flick this up. So right now we're just building this outer corner 
and without that millennial shade or like that transition shade down this would be a hot mess right now and like even though it kind of is a hot mess like it'll just be hot at the end like the mess will just go away um, because of that transition shade once you're blended we're going to keep this brush and we're just going to go in with this shade called double tap down here can you guys get what i'm doing at this point um, so I'm taking this shade Double Tap on the tip of the brush. It's like a deep wine color. It's really, 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 really pretty. So I'm taking this on that brush and I'm just really building this in the hollow of my crease right here, flicking it up and flicking it down. But I'm primarily, I'm not really moving it any other direction other than right there in the outer socket. I don't want it to go anywhere else. So you can just see how much more depth that will give my eye than it will on this eye. It really just creates a like layer of dimension. I think it's really pretty. I like going in with the shade Chandelier. It's just like a matte cream. I'm going to just pop that on the inner corner and just blend that out. Then for underneath the brow bone, I'm just going to take that same color and put that right underneath because I really like a nice matte eye for the fall. Okay, let's move on to liner before I do the lower lash line because I kind of like to blend the two together. I found a new way of doing it that I like a lot. Alright, so I'm using the Bobbi Brown Gel Liner. Gotta be honest, um, I really don't like this liner. I don't recommend it. It's not very black. Um, I think Max Black Track Fluid Line is a lot more black and rich and creamy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a triangle on the outer corner of my eye and not worry about making it look tapered in the beginning. I'm really just going to make a line connecting it to my lower lash line and then another line connecting it to my upper lash line and just fill that in. And then after I fill it in, I'm going to go back in and taper out the edge to make it look like it fades into nothing, which is the look that I absolutely adore. And there you have it, just like a nice little line. Sometimes you just gotta like stop touching things and like walk away. This is one of the times. Eyeliner. I've got options here. Black, brown, purple, red. Yeah, stick to those. Let's do brown. Anyway, this is Urban Decay's Corrupt 24-7 liner. And then I'm basically just gonna layer what we did on the upper lash line on the lower lash line. Okay, so first off, that transition shade Millennial, this will just help blend the other shadows. Then I'm gonna go in with, I got this ColourPop eyeshadow and I really wanna try it out. So I'm gonna take this, I could just use Girls Night, but I just really wanna try out a ColourPop eyeshadow. So it's like literally the exact same shade. Um, this one is in the color Melrose right over top of Millennial. Oh wow. Nice and rich. Now I'm going to go in and do my lashes. So I just use a combination. I first use the It Cosmetics um, Tight Liner to put against my lashes and then I go in with the CoverGirl Outlast, no, sorry, Clump Crusher, and I go in with that, and then I go in with the Too Faced Bread and Sex Mascara. And then for the lower lashes, I use the It Cosmetics. Finish the face, because it looks pretty bare. So I'm using this Tarte Park F Princess Bronzer. It's a shimmery bronzer, but for some reason, I just love it for like all over the face, so I've been really, really digging it. And I just put this on my hollows of my cheekbones. Forehead, temples, just hit the hot spots. Um, I used the Anastasia Contour Kit and nothing new here. The brush I use though is different. It's, um, again, doesn't have a name, doesn't have a model, doesn't have a brand. I'm pretty sure it's Crown Brush, but it's just a, I'm, it's probably a blush brush, but if you guys can tell, it's rather skinny. It's wide and it's nice and dense. It's really, really, really compact and dense, so it's great. And I go in with this shade over here and pop that right in the cheekbones and then 
flick it up. Right in the cheeks. It's a great, great brush because it doesn't deposit too much color at once. So you can really work on building it up, but it also gives a nice line of contour. But it also really, really feathers the product nicely. And then what I do is I go in with um, a different brush. This is just a 224, sorry, 222. And then I take this one right here because it gets like almost black. And I put this at the base of the contour. Just drag that up just a little tiny bit. Then I go back in with this setting brush and I take the banana powder that's in the palette and I go right underneath and that really makes a difference. It really cleans everything up and chisels everything out. Put it down the center of my nose, in between here, and underneath the eyes. So with blush, I'm using Worldly Wealth by MAC. This is like my go-to fall blush color. I absolutely love it. And I just take it on a big Sonia Kashuk blush brush and just sweep this across the cheeks. This blush brush is so great, especially for a highly pigmented and bolder color because it really does a nice job at thinning the product out and really not making it overboard. I mean, I'm still overboard because that's just me, but it really, really does a good job. And for highlight, um, you could go with like a golden highlight, but I just like using more of a sheen. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. I go with this middle one and just pop that right on the cheekbones and it really just gives a sheen which is all that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for too much of an intense highlight because I love the matte look in the fall time. Finally onto the lips. Um, I'm doing, first I'm going to put down lip primer because I never do so. And then I'm going to go in with um, lip liners and I think I'm going to line with this one. It's the um, Urban Decay 24-7 in 1993 because I want a more brown undertone as opposed to a more red undertone because I kind of want to bring out the warmth of my eyes as opposed to bring out the cooler tones of my cooler tones of my eyes. That just adds a little contour to the lip to make it look like the center of the lip is just like super pouty. This is a ColourPop um, lippy stick. I dig this color. What color is this? Uh, TGIF. It's a matte. And yes, it is. And it also, for a matte, it goes on so smoothly. I just messed up a little bit. Let me fix that. I really like that lippy stick. I think it's great. So if this looks a little bit different in a little bit, it's because I'm going to let my hair air dry. So that's going to be a few hours. Plus I have to go to a cookout. So um, I'll be back. But this is the completed look. I like it. So that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys can tell, I was way too lazy and never actually did my hair because I was like, you know what? We're casual here. This is a friendly channel. I don't need to get full glam all the time because my makeup makes up for my hair. So I thought that was okay. If you guys all enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. Also be sure to check out my website. I am going to be updating the blog soon since it launched I've literally had no time like you think that I would have everything like pretty you know pretty planned I didn't because I'm so like last minute like that so um since I had it launched I haven't written a new blog post which is really bad but I'm gonna start getting on the ball with that anyway I really hope you guys all enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one bye